Hi everyone, it's Ashley Bissett Summerall with Telltale TV. I'm joined today by Marina Scorchotti, who plays Kim Burgess on Chicago PD. Um, Marina, thank you so much for taking the time to talk with me today. Of course. So the fifth episode of this season turns out to be really pivotal for Burgess um, and really emotional. She ends up taking in this little girl, Michaela, that she had bonded with a couple of episodes prior. And I wanted to just start by finding out what was your reaction when you found out about this storyline for your character? Um, I found out during the summer, you know, everybody sort of calls Rick, our showrunner, to get the gossip on the season, see, because they're storyboarding the show at that point. Um, and he said that I was going to become a mom. And I was like, what? That's, you know, it's, it's great as an actor to just have different things to play, um, different things to do. It's, it's great. It's, it's a new way to attack every episode as well. And so she doesn't make the, the decision lightly. Um, she knows there's going to be these additional challenges that, you know, she, she talks about and she kind of, you know, she wavers a little bit on that. How is Burgess going to kind of deal with those challenges? I, I don't know. I mean, how do any of us deal with being a working mom? You just, you do it and you crawl in bed at the end of the night. I think she says that to Atwater. He's like, how's it going? I was like, it's, it's great. And I, I barely crawl into bed at the end of the night. And, and I, that's correct. <laughs> you know, I'm a, it's, you do it, you just do it. You do everything to the best of your ability and you screw up a lot. Like this morning, you know, trying to get my kid to school, trying to get here for work and then, and then press. I, I had a co I, my Starbucks coffee cup. I, I heated it in the microwave. I got down into my car, started drinking it. And I was like, I didn't get Starbucks today. <laughs> like I was drinking, I don't even know how old Starbucks. And the fact that like, it's even on my counter. Like I'm, I'm you just survive, right? <laughs> we just will survive. She will just be messier. That's it. It's, it's all doable being a mo working mom, but it's messy. <laughs> I understand that completely. Um, and she also talks about, you know, she's gonna be a single mom, she's white, she's a cop. What about those elements? I mean, those elements, I think uh, the single doesn't really factor in for me as a element. My mom was a single mom. It's kind of what I knew. Sure, if you wanna be a single mom, be a single mom. Um, it's harder, I'm sure, but for me, the elements that it really, I think we're going to key into are the fact that she's white and raising a black child. I think Atwater will be a huge element in, in helping her with her blind spots there. And then, um, uh, you know, she's in a dangerous job, but a lot of female cops are. So that might change what she does occasionally. I don't know. Will she hesitate when she runs into a building riddled with bullets? I don't think she will, but you know, all those things are made great, like meaty storylines to explore. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Um, and then how is this, how, how do you see this affecting Burgess and Ruzek? I mean, it can't go great, right? She makes a decision on her own, but I feel like she wants Ruzek in that relationship. And if he, if he steps up, I think she would allow it. I mean, I think it's interesting that they they have this conversation too about what they're going to be to each other, you know, before Burgess takes on this decision. And, you know, is it, are they coming back to each other because of the trauma? Um, and then, you know, is, is that real? Does that matter? Is that going to continue to be part of their dynamic, do you think? I don't think so. I think that that's Del, I think that sort of like adopt Michaela is sort of solve S A L V. I think spell that I think word that I'm saying solve of this trauma and they're moving on. Right. Um, I think that their their issues now are going to be those. These are the interest like the working mom aspect is really interesting to me, but also the more interesting thing to me is how do you continue a relationship that you've been in as a single person continuing it as a parent like you can't really just like have a one night stand booty call with Rusek when you have a kid in the next room I mean I I don't think Burgess would so those are those are the interesting things that I'm like how will their relationship change I'm not really sure we haven't dealt with that yet there was a previous interview where you talked a little bit about how Burgess had kind of evolved over the years and that she had become a little tougher, a little darker over the years. How do you think this is going to change her character 
I, I mean, I feel like it's got to. Maybe, you know, I haven't, one of the things about the show is that we all take turns sort of like having a storyline and I haven't really had a storyline. So, so I don't really know yet. Like, will it make her softer again? Will it really, those are all interesting things that I, that's what, uh, that's why I'm so excited. Those are all things that are questions that I look forward to sort of delving into the next time I get a, a script for my character. Sure, yeah, lots of possibilities. Sure. Uh, what, what was the biggest challenge in filming that episode? The biggest challenge was not uh, becoming too maternal too soon. It's really hard when you have like an eight year old and you just kind of want to be like, it's okay, you know, but to sort of hold back myself until I made the decision. Mm -hmm. uh, even like little, little things, I really, really tracked it to try and not give up too much too soon. I wanted to ask you, and this is taking things just in a completely different direction, um, but there was this great video on Instagram that I saw um, of, I think it, I think it was you and, um, I think it was you and LaRoyce, it like putting ice in your mouths um, oh, yeah. for, for a scene. Can you explain that a little bit to everybody? So oh, uh, we have an undercover van and it's basically just a shell. It's like metal. So it's colder inside than it is outside. And it's an enclosed space. So every time you breathe, and it's so cold in Chicago, the breath obscures your face with camera and you're supposed to be inside a van. So the ice cube neutralizes your breath. Right. So like you hold it in your mouth while you're talking for the scene um, and chew it real quick before a scene too to sort of neutralize your breath. So yeah, it's torture. Being an actor <laughs> is glamorous and also t torture. <laughs> That's what I was going to ask is, is that as miserable as it looks like it probably? It, 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 it's, it, it's really hard to shoot when it's really cold in your like little sweater, and, you know, it, but um, it's all doable. You know, I'm grateful to have a job, but it's, it can be, it's, there are some hard nights and hard long nights. Looking at um, the, the show as a whole, what's the best thing for you about working on Chicago PD? I, I like the people I work with. I'm just, they're so, everyone, we have so much fun. I'm so lucky. Like, I just, who doesn't have someone at, like, the, the, at their office that they get annoyed by? Like, I don't have that here. Just everyone's so great. I mean, even just like back to that video and looking at, you know, sort of the banter taking place there, I feel like you can see that, um, which is cool yeah. for us as an audience too. Yeah, it's just, it's just so lucky, especially like in a time where everyone's so lonely, like it's hard not seeing other people that I get to like hang out with people. <laughs> it's really just it's special. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Awesome. Thank you so much for taking the time. I really appreciate it. So fun talking Thank to you about it.